A client is admitted to the hospital with a suspected diagnosis of Hodgkin's disease. Which assessment finding would the nurse expect to find specifically in the client? A. Fatigue B. Weakness C. Weight gain D. Enlarged lymph nodes The answer is Option D. Enlarged lymph nodes Hodgkin's disease is a chronic progressive neoplastic disorder of lymphoid tissue characterized by painless enlargement of lymph nodes with progression to extra lymphatic sites such as the spleen and the liver. Hansen's disease is also known as A. Tuberculosis B. Leprosy C. Smallpox D. Anthrax The answer is Option B. Leprosy Mycobacterium leprae is discovered by Dr. Gerard Henrik Armour Hansen. So, leprosy is also known as Hansen's disease. A nurse is giving instruction to a nursing assistant who will be caring for a patient who has hand restraint. The nurse will instruct the nursing assistant to assess the skin integrity of the restrained hands. A. Every 2 hours B. Every 3 hours C. Every 4 hours D. Every 30 minutes The answer is option D. Every 30 minutes The nurse or the nursing assistant should check the restrained hand skin integrity in every 15 minutes for the first 1 hour then every 30 minutes to ensure proper circulation. Restraints are removed every 2 hours to facilitate range of motions. The volume of respiratory dead space in normal adult is A. 500 ml B. 150 ml C. 750 ml D. 50 ml The answer is option B. 150 ml Respiratory dead space represents the volume of inspired air that does not participate in gas exchange. The two types of dead space are anatomical dead space and physiological dead space. Anatomical dead space is represented by the volume of air that fills the conducting zone of respiration made up by the nose, trachea and bronchi and the volume is considered as 30% of the tidal volume that is 500 ml. Therefore, the volume of anatomical dead space is 150 ml. Arteriosclerosis results due to the increased intake of A. Proteins B. Diet rich in fat C. Diet rich in carbohydrates D. Insufficient intake of iron The answer is B. Diet rich in fat Arteriosclerosis is a type of vascular disease where the blood vessels carrying oxygen away from the heart that is arteries becomes damaged by the factors such as high fat intake or cholesterol intake, high blood pressure, diabetes, etc. Both arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis causes decreased perfusion of myocardial tissue and inadequate myocardial oxygen supply leading to hypertension, angina, MI, heart failure and death of affected person. The ECG changes due to hypokalemia is A. Tall peaked P waves B. Prominent U wave C. ST segment elevation D. Widened QRS complex The answer is B. Prominent U waves Hypokalemia is serum potassium level lower than 3.5 milli equivalent per liter Potassium deficit is potentially life-threatening because every body system is affected. Potassium is a major intracellular cation which helps in maintaining resting membrane potential and generating action membrane potential in the nervous system and the heart. Hypokalemia increases diastolic repolarization of Purkinje fibers and also the reduction in repolarization reserve which leads to prominent U-wave in ECG. What is the dangerous complication of prolonged use of mechanical ventilators? A. Cardiac arrest B. Respiratory alkalosis C. Hypotension 
D. Ventilator Associated Pneumonia The answer is D. Ventilator Associated Pneumonia VAP or Ventilated Associated Pneumonia is defined as the pneumonia occurring more than 48 hours after the patient have been intubated and received mechanical ventilation. The muscle which is known as peripheral heart A. Soleus B. Plantaris C. Sartorius D. Gastronymus The answer is Option A. Soleus Soleus muscle helps to pump the blood present in the veins of the legs back into the heart and for this reason it is named as peripheral heart. Goosebumps occur due to the contraction of A. Dermal papillae B. Erector pili C. Eccrine gland D. None The answer is B. Erector pili Goosebumps occur when tiny muscles in our skins, hair follicles called erector pili muscles pull hair upright. This muscle also participates in thermoregulation. Lead 2 in a 12 lead ECG corresponds to what? A. Right arm and left leg B. Right leg and left arm C. Left leg and left arm D. Left arm and right arm The answer is A. Right arm and left leg The 12 lead ECG primarily records the electrical activity of the left ventricle. So, the lead 2 compares the left leg with right arm and it views the inferior aspects of the left ventricle. A female patient was given morphine sulfate for pain relief. She is sleeping and her respiratory rate is 4 breaths per minute. If action is not taken quickly, she might have which of the following complications? A. Asthma attack B. Seizures C. Respiratory arrest D. Wake up on her own The answer is respiratory arrest. Morphine overdose leads to depression of respiratory center in the brain. This leads to decreased respiratory drive and respiratory arrest. If not treated quickly with naloxone, death may happen. A patient with pyrexia will most likely demonstrate A. Dyspnea B. Hypertension C. Elevated pulse rate D. Pericardial pain The answer is Option C. Elevated pulse rate Fever or pyrexia leads to increased metabolic demand of the body. As a compensatory mechanism, heart rate is raised to ensure adequate oxygen delivery to potentially poorly perfused organs. Disorder of fifth cranial nerve characterized by intense pain along the branches of the nerve is A. Crutch palsy B. Trigeminal neuralgia C. Bell's palsy D. Acoustic neuralgia The answer is B. Trigeminal neuralgia Trigeminal neuralgia is a type of chronic pain disorder that involves sudden attack of severe facial pain. It affects the trigeminal nerve or the fifth cranial nerve which provides pain feeling to the nerve signaling to the parts of head and face. The patient is admitted with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The nurse is aware that he will exhibit which of the following signs a hyperthyroidism B. Hypothyroidism C. Hypoparathyroidism D. Hyperparathyroidism The answer is B. Hypothyroidism Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease. It occurs when our body makes antibodies that attacks the cells in thyroid gland. Initially, inflammation of the thyroid causes leak of thyroid hormones which leads to hyperthyroidism. Over the time, inflammation of thyroid prevents the thyroid from producing enough hormones leading to hypothyroidism. A mother with 
39 plus 3 weeks period of gestation is in her second stage of labor. During this stage, how frequently the contractions need to be monitored? A. 5 minutes B. 10 minutes C. 15 minutes D. 30 minutes The answer is Option C. 15 minutes For low risk pregnancies with normal labor, contractions should be monitored in every 30 minutes during the first stage of labor and every 15 minutes during the second stage of labor. CPAP stands for A. Continuous Permanent Airway Pressure B. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure C. Continuous Prolonged Airway Pressure D. Continuous Passive Airway Pressure The answer is B. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure CPAP is a type of positive airway pressure where the air flow is introduced into the airways to maintain a continuous pressure to constantly stand the airways open in people who are breathing spontaneously. 1 ml of injection iron dextran contains how many mg of elemental iron? A. 20 mg B. 30 mg C. 50 mg D. 100 mg The answer is option C. 50 mg Each ml of iron dextran contains 50 mg of elemental iron. Iron dextran is an injectable low molecular weight ferric hydroxide complex indicated for patients with iron deficiency anemia where oral iron therapy is ineffective or poorly tolerated. Fear of heights is also known as a. Agoraphobia B. Algophobia C. Acrophobia D. Claustrophobia The correct answer is Option C. Acrophobia Acrophobia is a mental health condition in which the individual experiences an intense fear of heights. It is a type of anxiety disorder. Opistotonous posturing is seen in which condition? A. Cerebral palsy B. Seizures C. Hydrocephalus D. Meningitis The answer is Option A. Cerebral palsy Opistotonous posturing is a part of larger reflex movement set called decerebrate posturing which includes jaw clenching, rigidly ex extending legs and arms, Toes being pointed downward, hyperextension and sparsity in head, neck and spinal column leading to backward arching of head and neck. It is a symptom of severe cerebral palsy and traumatic brain injury. Who discovered the transmission of malaria by Anopheles mosquitoes? A. Ronald Rose B. Lavran C. Muller D. Pampanga the answer is option A, Ronald Rose. On 20th August 1897, Ronald Rose made his landmark discovery that malaria is transmitted by Anopheles mosquitoes. For this, Ronald Rose is awarded with Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1902. Infection with Group A beta hemolytic streptococci can lead to a. Hepatitis b. Meningitis c. Rheumatoid Arthritis d. Rheumatic Fever The answer is option d. Rheumatic Fever Rheumatic Fever is a disease that can result from inadequately treated streptococcal sore throat or scarlet fever. It causes inflammation of the heart, blood vessels and joints. Overgrowth of collagenous scar tissue is A. Keloid B. Macule C. Papule D. Tumor The answer is Option A. Keloid a keloid scar is an overgrowth of tissue that occurs when too much collagen is produced at the site of the wound. 
the scar keeps growing even after the wound is healed citrate phosphate dextrose adenine in blood bank can store rbc's up to 21 days b 35 days c 50 days d 60 days the answer is option b 35 days anticoagulant citrate phosphate dextrose adenine solution is a sterile solution of citric acid sodium citrate sodium dihydrogen phosphate monohydrate dextrose adenine and water for injection it is used for the preservation of whole blood and pack rbc's up to 35 days pinards manure is used to deliver a complete breech b frank breech c footling breech d knee breech the answer is option b frank breech pinards manure may be needed to facilitate delivery of the legs in frank breech procession after delivery of the umbilicus has occurred pressure is applied to the medial aspect of the knees which causes flexion and subsequent delivery of the lower leg a woman gave birth to a healthy baby 2 weeks ago what type of lochia would the nurse expect to find when assessing this patient a lochia rubra b lochia alba c lochia serosa d none of the above The answer is B lochia alba. Lochia alba is the last stage of lochia. A lowish white discharge, little to no blood, light flow or spotting and it lasts from 12 days to 6 weeks.